everybody. Hello. Congratulations. So I did come here from an erotic event tonight, and I have to say, obviously, okay, so I do have to tell you really quick that um, only when performing at a burlesque show do you end up in these when your stockings run in the back. I'm just saying. That's how it has happened. Um, so it was awesome, and thank you, Mike Geffner, because you were responsible for my being there. Um, but I have to say that I was happy to come here afterwards um, because I've, I've got a new thread of my writing. I've, I've realized in this political climate that it's impossible um, to be a stand for sexual freedom and not become political in this current environment. Um, and, and I truly believe that there is no such thing uh, as freedom if we don't have sexual freedom. No other freedoms are possible. Um, so, I want to share one of my more political pieces with you tonight. It's called War on Women, My Ass. Mm. They call it a war on women, but last time I checked, we weren't having sex alone, or making babies alone, or sucking our own cock. But I'm told there is a war on women, that my uterus is a weapon of mass destruction. Oh shit, I already knew that because I am self-destructing all the time. I am dropping orgasms like bombs, and there is never only one. And yet, we are here because of a war on women. Well, launched by who? Men? <laughs> no. That's too easy. That's the red herring dangled out so that you'll go running the wrong way. I mean, you do know the men in your life, right? Not the ones whose faces you can't make out when you're mad. I mean the men. I mean our lovers, husbands, fathers, brothers, sons, and friends. The ones we make love to in the middle of the night as if our lives depend on it. The ones who stand with us when we bury our parents, when we wonder how we're going to pay the mortgage. You know, the men. The ones we love to hate and love to love and need to wrestle with to stay sane. As crazy as they are, as much as they don't listen or do the dishes or put down the toilet seat or tell the truth when they want to fuck your best friend, this isn't their war. And it isn't ours either. No, this war on women is no different than all those other wars. War on drugs, war on terror. Those wars that are never about what they say they are. Something is always, always rotten, hiding under those battle cries, or in this case, hiding in the tip of the magic wand they want to put up inside us and have a look around. I mean, really, what are we hiding up there? It must be something good. We don't even want to go to the moon anymore or to Mars. We'd rather crawl inside the wombs we came from and pitch our nation's flag. That's really it, isn't it? This isn't a war on women. This is a sad war of a scared nation. A nation that has lost its way. And so it's turning on the mummies. The way a child does. And throwing a tantrum. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Secretly hoping we'll kiss the boo-boo and make it better. And wipe it all away. The mistakes. The embarrassment. The pain. And wrap you up in the safety of our arms and drown you in the warmth of our kisses and love you unconditionally like any good mommy would. Huh. I'll tell you what a good mommy does. A good mommy isn't so easily fooled by the ridiculous rantings of children. A good mommy is wise to all the nonsense, hip to all the bullshit, and not confused by the lies. A good mommy just says, child, don't be foolish. You get yourself together, you get back out there, and you say you're sorry. You clean up your toys, you play nice with the other children, no name calling or fighting, and come in here for supper when I call you. Before I spank your behind. You hear that little Ricky, little Rush, little Ann, little Mitt. I've heard about enough out of you for one day. <laughs> <laughs>